E-waste is one of the biggest challenges in our digital age. In 2016, 45 million tons of electronic waste were generated worldwide. To put that in scale, this is equivalent in weight to all commercial aircraft we've ever built throughout history. And that's just one year's worth of e-waste. The situation is not helped by the fact that only 20% of global e-waste is recycled, and 4% goes to household waste. That leaves 76% that is not clearly documented. In most cases, however, they are incinerated or dumped in landfill. The rapid expansion of technology and the consumption-driven society results in the creation of a very large amount of e-waste in our very households. At ePlay, we challenge ourselves to look at the problem as an opportunity. Our aim is to transform the growing e-waste into electronic and educational toys for kids around the age of 9 and up, in a safe and enjoyable manner. ePlay is a starter kit that comes with the necessary toolkit, a manual, and an open source core device. The toolkit includes an adaptive motor mount that utilizes a clamp design from both sides to ensure salvage motors from a range of sizes could fit into its housing. A dual clamping system means that no matter the shape or size, the motor shaft could always be adjusted to where it's needed, in the middle, aligned with the gearbox. Fundamentally, ePlay provides a DIY framework where users are encouraged to source components from discarded, yet functional electronic parts and attach them to the device. ePlay teaches children how to disassemble and identify common components within appliances in a fun and safe manner. ePlay is the bridge that provides the necessary toolkit to get started. A low barrier to entry for children and lesser experienced individuals who want a streamlined gateway into the DIY hacker and makers community. The whole process is educational and teaches the child through the use of storytelling, visuals and adventure style quests. With simple and clear visuals to aid the entire building process, a child could take this and build whatever they want with it. It says to the child, your ideas are really important because if you had created something and you carried them out, then it's yours. There are two main methods which the user could utilize the start kit. One of which is to build their own frame, using an old CD player or any plastic shell as the chassis, which houses the core device and adaptive motor mount. The other has an opportunity to retrofit the kit into the existing toys, making it electronic and remote control enabled. The possibilities are endless and caters to all genders. At the end of the journey, the child would have newfound skills, knowledge about common components within appliances, and understand how to safely disassemble them. Of course, a new toy. With online communities for support and daily inspiration, there are countless possible outcomes that can be made from e-waste using e-play. The outcome is only limited by the child's imagination. Iterating this process generates a family of electronic toys. New objects can evolve from obsolete ones. A whole ecosystem of open and repurposed products.